As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's gonna have a, a big barbecue on deck, and tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> Captain, all of our command systems crashed. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmiera, can you tell us what's happening there? Sit tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe a, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the Walsh. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. The UN, putting their lives so they should use, calling the block possible alleged leader, release no of the very long gone line. The North Wireless of the U.S. call. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but... I'm afraid something terrible My has God. occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job... I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not going to send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Fisher, if I can't throw the Joint Chiefs a bone, we'll be at war in the next 24. I need you to bring in Zerkezi for questioning. Mylon Nedich has moved him to Hokkaido for protection. I have no idea if Shetland is aware or involved, but I'd like to find out. However it turns out, don't let your personal concerns get in the way. In my opinion, there are too many coincidences here. Zerkezi is the only living person who could have orchestrated the sinking of the Walsh. Even if the Koreans did launch the missile, it would almost certainly have required Zerkezi's help to actually hit the ship. And this business with displays. I know you don't want to hear it, but I think Shetland's dirty. The kidnapping of Morgan Holt, the protection of Zerkezi, relocating him after the blackout, it stinks. Looks like displays rented out the entire retreat. It's low-tech and quiet. Don't expect servers and security. Expect aware guards in tune with the environment. You're going to need to rely on more traditional methods, up close and personal. Japanese ISDF conducts low-level monitoring of the activities of anyone employed by a PMC for as long as they are in the country. We discovered yesterday that this place has rented this retreat, and a number of our agents planted microphones in the location. Unfortunately, we were not adequately prepared for the increased importance of the location. The microphones are detectable using standard tools. Needless to say, it would be best if this place did not find them. <laughs> 